So what I want to do is show you how to graph this inequality. OK, Trevor? So what we're going to do to graph this inequality, let's first take that out. Yeah. Um, the next thing we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is remember we need to solve this just like it's an equation. Remember I told you that when we're dealing with inequalities, if you're having trouble, Pedro, understanding how to solve the inequalities, just treat it like an equation and then substitute back the inequality. All right? But that's all we're doing is representing this as an equation. But it's going to be an inequality, so the solution is going to be different. But as far as the process for solving for your variable is going to be the same as what we do for an equation. So the first thing we want to do is when we notice we have a variable on both sides, we have to get the variable on the same side. Right? When you solve an equation, you've got to have v equals. right? Or v is less than, v is greater than. But you've got to get a variable by itself. So if I look here, I have the v on both sides. I need to get my v's to one side or the other. So to do that, what I can do, what I like to do, is I like to get rid of the, the, most, the smallest of the two coefficients of the variables. Since negative 14 is smaller than negative 6, I'm going to get rid of this four, negative 14v. To do that, I'm going to add 14v. Okay, Because negative 14v plus 14v is going to give me 0v. I'll add a 14v to the other side. And I get negative 6v plus 14v is going to give me 8v plus 8 is greater than negative 28. So now I have this as a two-step. Okay, So from here, the next step I need to do is subtract 8. I get 8v is greater than a negative 36. Yes? This is number what, 33? 33. So now the next thing I need to do is divide by 8 on both sides. And I get v, not greater than, v is greater than a negative 4.5. OK? One's being made right now. Oh. <laughs> Got it? You can check it in your calculator if you want. So now the next thing we need to do, guys, remember we need to listen to, we need to say out loud the solution set. B is greater than negative 4.5. So what are all the values? Is there just one value? It's not B is equal to negative 4.5. It's B is greater than negative 4.5. So, so negative 4.5 is your, so any values of v that are greater than negative 4.5 are going to make this true. So there's more than one solution. So you yes. Swap Only swap the sign when you divide or multiply by a negative number. Since I did not divide by a, a negative 8, oh. it's OK. Please raise your hand. Yes. Sorry, we're just trying to figure out whether the statement is true. You know? You're trying to make our statement true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a number line. And let's go, let's plot 0 here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, 1, 2. OK, so the next thing I need to do, yes? OK, the next thing I need to do is I need to plot negative 4.5 on the number line. So I go over to negative 4.5, and I make a nice big circle. Okay. Got it? Now the next thing I need to do is if you guys, there's two ways you can do this. Once you get used to this, you can say it out loud and or know exactly where it's at. But until you get used to it, use test points. Just plug it in. OK, Courtney? So what you can do is just plug in a point. Pick a point, 0, and plug that in for v. So 0 is greater than negative 4.5. Is 0 greater than negative 4.5? Yes. yes, that's true. So you're going to shade if one, if the left if the right side for you, the right side of the equation is true, that means all the values to the right of your test or to the right of your point are going to be true. And let's take a look. Does that make sense? Is negative three greater than negative four point five? Yes. If you owe negative three dollars compared to negative four dollars, you have more money, right? Because you owe less, so it's going to be more. Is two greater than negative four point five? Yes, of course. So you're going to shade all of the values to the right, because all of the values to the right are equal. Not just 0 and 1, but 0 uh, or 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.83, all of them. So we're going to shade to the right. All right. The difficult thing about this is make sure you get it to your variable, um, solve, and shade. Okay.
Any questions? Yes? Only switch when you multiply or divide by negative. Yes. Cool?